well. This is native food. And it has to be eaten with your hands. Come on. It's most delicious when you eat with your hand. You enjoy it. But I'm enjoying it with <laughs> Somebody's got you for hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel thank you so much guys for stopping by on my channel today we are going to prepare otoibre do you know what is otoibre otoibre is a local meal that is eaten by the aquaibon people and in fact the affix that is the cross river state people also eat this delicious meal it is a local meal and it is always prepared with either ebre which is what i am or unripe banana which is Mboro. If you are preparing it with unripe banana, we call it otomboro. And if you are preparing it with ebre, which is what I am, we call it otoebre. And so today I'm going to prepare this delicious meal with ebre, which is what I am. So right now, let me take you to the kitchen and then show you the ebre that I'm going to use. This is what I am. Then in my language, we call this ebre. Yes, ebre. Ebre is a local yam that you can as well peel this yam, boil, and then eat it with palm oil. If you don't want it that way, you can as well use it and make um, porridge or even pepper soup. So, I'm not going to use the whole lot of this because it's too much. I just saw this and I bought it, so I'm going to remove like, I'm going to remove three. So, this is the one that I'm going to make use of so what i need to do is to start peeling it and in fact this food is very very common in the eastern part of nigeria especially the aquaibom state people like i told you and the cross river states respectively they love it because it's a local meal and whenever a woman put to bed that is a nursing mother this one is too much a nursing mother so we used to prepare this food for them and it used to be very delicious. So I'm going to peel this. After peeling it, wash and then use a local crater and create it. After peeling, this is how it looks like. So I have to turn it into a bigger bowl. Look at the peel. This peel is no more useful and I don't have any goats. Supposing I have goats, goats would have eaten this. This is a very nutritious meal for them. So I'm going to throw this away. I need to add water and wash it out. This is the water I am after washing. Look at how it is very clean. So the next thing is for me to start creating it. Yes, I'm done creating it. So the next thing is to move down to the kitchen and prepare other items that I'm going to use to cook this delicious meal. After creating it, you have to mix it up just like this so that everything will mix. And this watayam is a very good one. Look at how it's going up. Very good one. This is nto. In my language, we call this nto, but in English language, it's called scent leaf. The Igbos call it ebre. So I'm going to add this to the tasty and delicious otto ebre. I want to say otomboro. It is otto ebre. This is the water for the otto ebre. So you need to put water on the fire just like this and allow it to come to a boiling point before adding the ingredients. Now that the water has boiled properly, I'm going to add the fish. This is pepe and the crayfish. I also have the seasoned meat here. I have seasoned and steamed this properly. This is 
periwinkle and other ingredients. I have the cow skin as well with plenty of you see, I'm going to add some seasonings. I need to add some salt. After everything, I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for five minutes. The next thing is to cut the ebre and add to the sauce. This is how I'm going to cut it, little by little. After all this, I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for two minutes before adding the entire leaf or scent leaf. Mm. Yes. I'm going to add the entire leaf. This is the last thing you must add whenever you're preparing this delicious food. Remember, it is a local food. I'm not going to add palm oil though. I'm not going to add palm oil at all. So after this, I'm going to put it down and set. Wow. So we call this otoibre in my language. So I'm going to put it down and set.
It's most delicious when you eat with your hand, you enjoy it. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs>